31 cars are lined up on pit road. The fans are piling in. The team's already, the crew's already going back and only need one thing. It is time for another round of Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series racing. Hello, everybody. We're over here in the NASCAR on CLM booth. I'm Jack Roberts alongside my great co host Scott Miles and Connor Speed. Good evening, everybody. I'm Scott Miles, and I'm Connor Speed, and we're here at the Half Mile Bristol Motor Speedway. It's the last great Coliseum for one reason. It's a it's one of the most brutal places to race. NASCAR has been coming here for quite a while, and this is our second trip on the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series circuit. The 2019 season is coming down to, a, to the wire, and before we get into the race, let's take a look at drivers to watch for and brought to you by Goodyear. Goodyear, more driven. Last time out in Martinsville, Chase Elliott had taken the points lead away from Kyle Larson and Kurt Busch. So will Chase Elliott hold on to that points lead tonight here in Bristol? When we were here in Bristol last year, Kyle Larson actually went on to win the race. So will Kyle Larson go back to back in Bristol tonight? The Alan Joey and Ty Majeski rivalry has been put on hold. Ty Majeski suspended for the final three races of 2019. In Majeski's place will be Cole Custer. So how will Cole Custer do in his debut tonight? Ryan Blaney has been threatening to win this year, but he has yet to close the deal and get the win. Will tonight be the night Ryan Blaney's luck finally strikes gold and gets him a win? Trevor Payne is the home track favorite as he has scored a win this season in Detroit, so will Trevor Payne score a win number two tonight? If you were to ask all the big teams which the underdog struck fear to their hearts aside from Trevor Payne, they would tell you it would be Chris Busher. We'll keep on in that 47 all race long. When the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series was here in Bristol in August this year, Matt Tavantetto was on his way to victory when Denny Hamlin took it away from him. So will Denny Hamlin translate that win in August into a win tonight here in the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series? If there was ever a king of Bristol Motor Speedway, it would be Kyle Busch, but don't look behind him because the last time the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series was on a short track, Martin Truex Jr. stole the win away. So will Martin Truex Jr. carry that momentum on into, into tonight's race in Bristol? And that is going to do it for the free race show. We now take you trackside for opening ceremonies and the command to fire the engines. Race fans, Race fans, at this, at this time, time, we ask yes, that you that please you rise, rise and remove your hats in a moment of silence, silence for the fallen soldiers, soldiers of our great, great nation. nation. Please, please remain, remain standing, standing for the, for the singing, singing of our, of our national, national anthem. anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave For the land of the free and the home of the
take a look at the starting line of Fonzie by Sharpie. Sharpie, right out loud. On the front row, starting on the pole position will be Kyle Larson with Kevin Harvick starting second. Row 2 starting third will be Jenny Campbell with Brad Kuzlowski starting fourth. Row 3 starting fifth will be Jamie McMurray, Jay Sillian starts sixth. Row 4 starting seventh will be Kurt Busch with Trevor Bain starting eighth. Rounding out the top ten starting in ninth place will be Chris Buescher and William Byron rounds out the top ten. Row number six starting eleventh will be Martin Short Jr. with Joey Logano in twelfth. Row seven starting thirteenth will be Carl Edwards with Ryan Hunter Ray in fourteenth. Starting the race in row number 8 and 15 will be Ryan Lee with Eric Amorola in 16th. Row number 9 starting the race in 17th will be Ross Chastain with Scott Speed starting 18. Riding up the top 20 will be Paige Decker in 19th and Jimmy Johnson in 20th. Row 11 starting 21st will be Bubba Wallace with Alex Bowman starting 22nd. Row 12 starting 23rd will be Rookie Stenhouse Jr. and Natalie Decker starts 24th. Row 13 starting 25th will be Kyle Busch with Chase Briscoe in 26th. Rows 14 has Ryan Blaney starting 27th, 28th Matt Kenseth. Rounding out the top 30 and 29th will be Alan Jolie. Cole Custer will start 30th. Rounding up the field in shotgun, 31st will be Nicole Bihar. And here is a look at your onboard cameras. Kevin Harvick will have the Mobile One onboard camera, and Kurt Busch will carry the Haas CNC onboard camera. Eric Almarola is going to carry the Smithfield onboard camera, and Ryan Lee will carry the Keen Parts onboard camera. They're not the only ones carrying onboards. Natalie Decker has our Direct TV onboard camera, and Scott Speed will be carrying our Alltel wireless onboard camera. They'll also be joined by Kyle Bush with the M&M's onboard camera, and finally, Danny Hamlin will be carrying the FedEx onboard camera for us today. And we are ready to rock and roll in the Bristol Mat Race. Kyle, take it away. Pace car is going to roll down pit road. Kyle Larson leads us to the green flag. It's in the air. Away we go. It's Bristol, baby. They head for turn number one. He's there. Glass out. Kids must be. And Hamlin and Harvick all three wide now. He's set over there. Harvick will fall before the Kids must be 10 seconds. Larson leads to a green flag. Hard lap in the books now. Here comes Kids must be taking the lead. Now he'll lose the lead to Danny Hamlin. Hamlin's going to hold on the odds right now. Larson, Kids must be into three wide. Brad Kozlowski got inside the green board. Now he'll lose lap number two. Left with the lead of the board. Back to turn one and two. Here's a bubble run for Danny Hamlin. And the splits him down the middle. McMurray's going to take the lead. There comes Trevor Bain, the hometown hero off turn number four. He'll be McMurray in that lap. As now Trevor Bain takes the lead in turn one, two. Down the back stretch, they go into turn number three. Here comes Kurt Bush trying to take the lead away, but here comes Bush. Now they get his double final stance, and Trevor Bain's going to lead that lap. Four laps down, and Trevor Bain has led his first half of the lap. Now Bush is taking the lead. Down the back stretch, they go into turn number three. Chris Busher, who we know who has to go play on the outside, but Busher denies. There comes Alvin Doyle on the inside line. He'll take the lead away from Chris Busher. Larson tries to split him down the middle, not going to work. And down the in turn number three they go. Kyle Larson takes the lead away from the Joe Land. Trouble line right into the wall. Ryan Blaine takes him a wall. He, will, he, will, he drives away from it, but the caution is out for the first time tonight. Let's take a look at what happened. You're going to watch, want to watch Ryan Reed here. Oh, he got into the back of Trevor Bain. I mean, Ryan, he, you mean Ryan Blaney, because he, Ryan Reed got into Ryan Blaney, Blaney hits the wall, caution comes out, and pit road is going to be open this time by teams going to look to make stops here. Kelly, take it away. Thanks, Kelly Martin Truex Jr., the 2017 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion, has told Cole Fern, his crew chief, that the car is absolutely fantastic. He just needs to get out of traffic. Think it'll be a four-tire and fuel stop for Martin Truex Jr. They'll top him off with an ugly fuel, give him a clean tire, and send him on his way, Zach. And thanks, Calvin. Crew Chief Cliff Daniels has requested a two-tire stop for Jimmy Johnson. It'll be two right side tires. They give him a clean tire and send Jimmy Johnson on his way. And here they come to complete lap number seven. Begin lap number eight. Kyle Larson will continue to lead the field. Here comes Brad Keselowski. He'll be the first car off pit road, followed by Cole Custer, Jimmy Johnson, Martin Truex Jr., Matt Kenseth, Ross Chastain, Paige Decker, Ryan Hunter Ray, Nicole Bihar, and Bubba Wallace. Now it should be the top ten off pit road. We'll be getting ready for the restart soon. And here we go, getting ready for the lap nine restart. Kyle Larson will lead us to the green flag. The pace car appeals down the pit road, and Kyle Larson will see the green flag. It's back in the air. We're back in the way. They head for turn number one. They head for turn number one. Kyle Bush going to try and split the trolley. Larson will be right, but Larson will have none of it as he gets to the outside line. In a turn number three and four, they go. Kyle Larson going to lead over Kyle Bush as they complete lap nine. Trouble seven car melee man, the leaders. 
And that's gonna bring out the second caution of the race. Let's take a look at what happened. Kenseth into page deck, and it was just on from there. Watch again, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. into Matt Kenseth, and then it was on from there. Well, here we go, getting ready for the final pit stops of tonight's race. Kelly, take it away on pit road. Thanks, guys. My crew chief comes into my section of pit road to my crew chief, Cole Perna. Once again, his car is fantastic, but again, he cannot get out of traffic, so it'll be another four-time fuel stop for the number 715. They race around to the left side of the car, top him up with some extra fuel, give him a clean job, and send the 78 on its way. Also in my section of pit road, Cole comes to came in, and his crew chief is being gutsy. Gambling on a two-tire stop, it'll be two laps by his car, and they send Cole Custer. Ah, thanks, Kelly Carl Edwards came in tone crew chief. Bob Bob one that the car is absolutely fantastic. So it's a two-tire stop for Carl Edwards, and they send the 19 on his way side. And thank you, Calvin. Alex Bowman comes in telling crew chief Greg guys that the car is absolutely loose, so they're adding some track bar and wedge. They also give him some additional air pressure in the tires. It's a four-tire and fuel stop. They top off Alex Bowman with a with fuel, give him a clean top, and send the 88 on its way. And here they come across the strike. Kyle Larson will lead lap number 12. McMurray's gonna try and be the first one off pit road, and he will not. He'll get beaten off pit road by Eric Almarola. William Byron, Brent Keselowski, and Cole Custer will round up the top five off pit road. We get ready for the lap 13 restart. And here we go, getting ready for the lap 13 restart. Buckle up and get ready to go. Kyle Larson's about to lead us to the green flag. Pace car rolls in. Green flag's back in the air. Back in the wheel. Turn number one. 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 Turn Tough break for Kyle Busch. Watch again. He gets in front. There's the bump. Kyle Larson Busch gets away and then gets loose into turn one outside wall. And then watch the finish here. Kyle Larson has a hard charging Kevin Harvick to hold off. Harvick gave Har Larson everything he could, but Larson was able to pull away and get the win. So there's Kyle Larson. You see him getting his checkered flag, and that will be his ASNCS leading fifth win. Congratulations to Kyle Larson on winning by Sharpie for Harvick and his team. The celebration to victory lane. Once again, congratulations to Kyle Larson. We'll be back with the unofficial race results. And here's a look at the Chevy 500 unofficial race results. Winning the race will be Kyle Larson. He led nine laps on the day. Finishing second, Kevin Harvick. Third place, Kurt Busch. Fourth place, Sarah Magellan. Finishing fifth will be Chase Elliott. Seventh goes to Denny Hamlin. Finishing eighth will be Scott Speed. Finishing 8th will be Ryan Blaney, Ninth will be Trevor Bain, rounding out the top 10 is going to be Jamie McMurray. 11th place goes to Eric Amorola, 12th place Jimmy Johnson, 13th will be Cole Custer, 14th will be William Byron, finishing 15th will be Ross Chastain, 16th Brian Keselowski, 17th Brian Trash Jr., 18th Chase Briscoe, 19th will be Alex Bowman, rounding out the top 20 will be Jay, will be Chris Busher. Finishing the race in 21st, Carl Edwards, 22nd, Natalie Decker, 23rd, Ryan Reed, 24th, Kyle Bush, 25th, Paige Decker, 26th, Matt Kenseth, 27th, will be Ryan Hunter Gray, 28th, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., 29th, Nicole Behar, rounding out the top 30 will be Daryl Wallace Jr., and rounding up the field in 31st today will be Joey Logano. And that's going to do it for the unofficial race results. Let's now take a look at the point standings after tonight's race. And here is a look at the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series points after race number 7 of the 2019 season. At the top of the points, it's Kyle Larson, and he's tied up with Chase Elliott, with the win being the tiebreaker. Third, Kurt Busch. Fourth, Martin Truex Jr. Fifth, Ryan Blaney. Sixth, Trevor Bain. Nicole B. Hart, seventh. Eighth, Ross Chastain. Ninth, Harry Kamalola. Tenth, Kevin Harvick. Eleventh, Jamie McMurray. Twelfth, Chase Briscoe. Thirteenth, Scott Speed. Fourteenth, Jimmy Johnson. Fifteenth, Darren Wallace Jr. Alex Bowman, sixteenth. 17th, Ryan Reed, 18th, William Bailey, 19th, Matt Kenseth, Alan Wachola, 20th, 
21st, Chris Buescher, 22nd, Denny Hamlin, 23rd, Brad Keselowski, 24th, Kyle Busch, Ryan Hunter Ray, 25th, 26th, Carl Edwards, 27th, Joey Logano, 28th, Justin Allgaier, 29th, Paige Decker, Tyler Jeske, 30th, 31st, James Hinchcliffe, 32nd, Henry Decker, 33rd, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Tyler Reddick, 34th, 35th, Jeremy Mayfield, 36th, Cole Custer, 37th, Connor Daly, 38th, Landon Castle, 39th, Daniel Hemrick, 40th, Austin Dillon, 41st, Clinton Boyer, 42nd, David Starr, 43rd, Eric Jones, 44th, Alexander Rossi, 45th, Matt Tiff, Matt Tiff, 46th, Simona Di Silvestro, 47th, Reed Sorensen, Casey Atwood, 48th, and running out the points in 49th will be Christopher Bell. And we thank you all for watching. When we meet up again, we'll be at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're on foot count 400. So until we meet again, Ben and there, on behalf of our camera crew, pit reporters, and my great co host, Scott Miles, and Jack Roberts, I'm Connor Speed, signing out for saying so long and happy. Good night, satellite transmission, and now.